Ever wondered about the real story behind a song? You know, sometimes songs can seem simple, but they have layers that keep us guessing. Well, that's definitely the case with Puff the Magic Dragon, a song that has sparked debates and stirred imaginations for years. Let's dive into the different viewpoints and stories surrounding this iconic tune. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video, click the bell icon as well. It really helps me out and I appreciate it a lot. All right, let's get started. So, you know the song Puff the Magic Dragon, right? It's a super famous song from the 1960s by Peter, Paul, and Mary. People love it for its story about a young boy and his dragon friend going on all sorts of cool adventures. When it first came out in 1963, people went nuts for it. It even got really high on music charts, reaching number two on the Billboard Hot 100 list for that time. Now here's where it gets tricky. A lot of folks think this song is not just a cute story about a dragon. They think it's actually talking about using drugs. Yup, you heard it right. Some say the song is all about smoking marijuana. They compare it to other songs like Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds by The Beatles, suggesting that even the title might be hinting at LSD, a kind of drug. You see, the name Puff sounds like it's linked to smoking, doesn't it? And a magic dragon could be seen as something a little bit, let's say, trippy. People have gone so far as to say that the song has a hidden message about using drugs. But wait, there's more. The people who made the song, they say, hold on, not so fast. According to them, the song is not about drugs at all. Nope. They say it's just a simple story about growing up and how, as we get older, we stop believing in things like magic dragons. It's about losing that childlike sense of wonder, not about smoking pot or anything like that. So, you see, the song's creators are very clear on this. They didn't have any drug-related thoughts when they made this song. It's about life growing up and how we all lose a bit of our imagination as we age. Hey, have you ever listened to Puff the Magic Dragon? It's this catchy tune from the 1960s by the group Peter, Paul, and Mary. The song tells us a story about a dragon named Puff and his human friend, a boy named Jackie Paper. They have all sorts of fun in a magical place called Honolulu. So, why is there all this talk about the song being about something else? Well, some people think the song is a secret message about smoking weed. Surprised? Me too. Let's dive in a bit. The song starts off with the lines. Puff, the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Some people think that autumn mist is actually talking about smoke, like from a joint or something. But wait, there's more. You see, Puff is green, just like marijuana leaves. Coincidence? Some don't think so. Plus, Puff hangs out in a place called Cherry Lane, which people say might be about the lit end of a cigarette. And let's not forget about Jackie Paper, Puff's friend. His last name is Paper. Some say it's like rolling papers for cigarettes or joints. And what about Hanalei? Some think it's a different way to spell Hanalei, a place in Hawaii known for growing weed. But before we jump to conclusions, it's important to know what the song readers themselves said. They've been pretty vocal about it, saying that people are just reading too much into it. According to them, the song isn't a secret code for smoking pot. Nope. They insist that it's just a tale about a boy and his dragon and how we all grow up and lose our sense of magic and wonder. Isn't it amazing how a simple song can get people talking and guessing about what it really means? It shows you how people can see things in many different ways, depending on what they're thinking or what they want to believe. Now let me take you back in time a bit to clear up some things. Peter Yarrow, one of the main people behind the song, was a student studying physics at Cornell University in the late 1950s. He had a buddy there named Lenny Lipton, who was also into physics. Lenny got inspired by another poem about a dragon and decided to write his own version using Peter's typewriter. Peter loved what Lenny wrote and added music to it. And just like that, Puff was born. Now, the interesting part is that both Peter and Lenny have gone on the record to say, hey, the song has nothing to do with smoking up or getting high. Lenny even talked about it on his blog, 
mentioning how back in their college days, people were more into folk music and simple gatherings, not smoking weed. I mean, come on, it was 1958 at a university. People were singing songs at social events, not puffing away on joints. The song, according to them, is not some hidden message about using drugs. It's actually about something we can all relate to, growing up and forgetting about our make-believe friends and imaginary worlds. You remember the end of the song, right? Jackie Paper, the boy in the song, stops hanging out with Puff, and the dragon sadly goes back to his cave. That's a story about how we all lose a bit of our childlike imagination as we get older. Isn't it funny how a simple song about a dragon can stir up so much debate? People want to see things their own way. But it's nice to know what the creators themselves were thinking. So, what do you think? Is Puff the Magic Dragon a story about childhood and growing up? Or a coded message about something else? Either way, one thing is for sure. This song has layers, and it's kept us talking for years. I hope this deep dive gave you some food for thought. The next time you hear Puff, you'll have some backstage info to make you think twice about its meaning. If you like what I do in here, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you have some anime that you'd like me to cover, write it down in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.